Compassionate Living, sponsored by WBBZ-TV and Castellone Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Batavia, New York. Passionate Living. I'm Kat Miller. We have a very special show for you today, which includes some of my favorite guests from season one. I thought it would be fun to go back to last summer and listen to astrologist Cassandra Butler's predictions to see how airily close they were. You definitely won't want to miss what she predicts for 2021. You're going to love some of our favorite viewer home videos, especially my 91-year young woman who decides to take up drum lessons. Then you'll be serenaded by Jay Dreff, one of the most profoundly moving vocalists I've ever heard. However you process emotion when you hear this great song, prepare yourself with a tissue box as we hear a track from his newest album. But first, we meet my ultra cool soul son in Santa Barbara as he combines two of his favorite passions, surfing and biking, to create a crazy invention called the Surf Cycle. Bryce Marshall's sense of humor and pure exhilaration for life is contagious. So sit back, buckle your seat belts, and prepare to be inspired on this edition of Passionate Living. This is my soul son <laughs> out in uh, Santa Barbara, California. And I saw a video on your dad's post the other day, and it just blew me away. You are one of the most passionate souls I have ever met and creative in like the ingenuity that just pours out of every cell in your body is like mind boggling. My two favorite things in the world are biking and surfing. And so one day when I was on all these seizure drugs, it just hit me, you know, like up surfboard that you steer like a bicycle this i gotta make it and so i did i made it and it turned out pretty cool and had a lot of fun making it and writing it oh my god it blew my mind it is the most amazing video and i want to show everybody now and uh take a look and we'll i might have one more question for you after we see it all right so i love this but I also love this. Combine love and love? That's love squared. Let's do it. Crappy old surfboard? Check. Prototype? Done. The lip? Design. Sleep. Start over. Design again. Oh, yes. 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 Done. Count pieces. One, two, three. Order all of it. And buy it. Then. Patiently wait for your order to arrive. Parts are here! It's time to build! Bam, 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 T minus seven bam, seven. Bam, Fix it. Bam, 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 T minus bam, bam, seven. Bam, I'm here with my athletes. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna help me test the surf sickle. Yeah. Surf sickle. Surf sickle. Surf sickle. Surf sickle. Professional athletes are over here warming up, doing their darndest to get prepared for this epic moment. How do you feel as uh, someone about to ride the the surf sickle for the first time? You know, I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. <laughs> Always remember to wax your surf sickle. Uh-huh. We're ready to go! <laughs> Dude, this is it! This is it! This is it! It's totally gonna work! <laughs> Dude, that was pretty good. I feel like, you know? Get it, get it, get it! Go! Yeah! That was so amazing. I want you to tell me, do you, would you like, 
do this surf sickle? Is this like a new thing for you? How did it turn out? It turned out pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do it again? Is this like your new favorite thing, combining the two favorites, or do you still like biking and surfing separately? I think I might do them separately for a little while, but maybe I'll give it an upgrade and who knows? You no, know, you'll have to send us that when you get it. I will make sure to send it. Definitely. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye, Kat. Bye, Bryce. In this special segment, we're going to see some inspirational video entries from viewers who've used their time at home to creatively improve on their lives. Our first video is from viewer Peter Henley, whose boxing gym had to close temporarily. What I'm doing, locked up inside. Next, we'll meet my friend Richard Green's mother, Eileen, who decided to take up drumming earlier this month on her 91st birthday. <laughs> Not bad. Beautiful. How'd that feel? Better. Keep drumming, because soon you might be giving this guy a run for his money. My next guest is a dear, heartfelt soul sister, Cassandra Joan Butler, and she is an amazing astrologist and she does intuitive readings as well. So combined together, I wanted to get a little bit of insight of what is going on this year. Cassandra, welcome to the show. Thank you, dear soul sister cats. It's wonderful to see you. I mean, I'm gonna give you a virtual hug right now, okay, so. <laughs> virtual non-contagious hug. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Cassandra, tell me a little bit, it has been a crazy 2020. Um, yes, there's so much going on right now mm -hmm. in the world around us. And I'm sure for most of the viewers, and I know myself, just so much going on in the inner world too. And my, my friends, my, right. my close life. Is there mm -hmm. anything that you can tell us about going on in the stars? I know right from January, you said this was going to be a year of transformation. Right. Um, as the year opened, we had this lineup of all the planets in the sign of Capricorn. Now Capricorn represents structure, business, government, power. And we had one planet which represents restructuring and limitations and loneliness, that's called Saturn, boundaries. And the other planet is Pluto, which represents total transformation, to kind of a death and rebirth. These two planets together in Capricorn at 22 degrees only happens once every 500 years. So we knew it'd be something pretty important. Wow, so it only happens once every 500 years? Good. Because yep. I don't want the other year like this. For, <laughs> for another 500 years, I think I could deal with it a little better. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> So, and, is there any any thoughts on what's ahead as we go through the rest of this year? Is anything going to shift, or is this just should we just expect a total year of of restructuring? Well, I think we've all done a lot of restructuring right. so far, especially in the months of April and in July, restructuring with our inner wounded healer because Chiron has been in the sign of Aries. That happens every 50 years, a mere drop in the bucket. But those two things, restructuring power and our sense of authority, plus our internal healing. For the rest of 2020, we have a big pause, an astrological pause, that is, Kat. It's, it's, it's a retrograde between 9-9 and 11-11. 
So of course, the symbolic, symbolic person in me says, isn't that interesting? 911 twice. Wow. 99, 11, 11. We have Mars, which is action in retrograde. So that might be another reintroduction with another type of perhaps restructuring, maybe a mutation of the virus. It's hard to say exactly, but the big news of 2020 only happens after December 20th. Well, that, what happens December 20th? Yeah. Okay. The Something planet that we're, good yeah, good. it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's like, it's like a new order of yeah. things. Okay. Um, everyone is familiar with Aquarius from way back when, the 60s, the age of Aquarius, right? Aquarius. Yeah. So two planets line up at zero degrees. That's Jupiter and Saturn at okay. zero Aquarius. And that launches a new template for business and work through technology. And I think we'll be on more firmer ground. And you know, of course, so many businesses have been going virtual. An integration more of the computer skills, virtual skills. So there's a lot of hope to be had. But I think things will begin to really dovetail into a more new normal after December 20th. Okay. Wow. That's, that's good to hear. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know there's been so, the whole world has had to readjust how it does business, how it stays in business, how people work, um, how we socialize. Everything has changed. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I, you know, one of the call words have been alone together. And I think that's reflected by the Chiron in Aries because Aries is the sign of individuality. Chiron represents healing our inner wounds. Nothing will heal a wound faster than being by oneself. And so that is actually a painful healing path that we've all had to take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's definitely... A lot of people have told me how lonely they feel, especially people who live by themselves, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe they don't have an immunity pod, you know, of people to, to interact with. And that it has definitely been a time of going inside. And as you said, when we go inside, that's where the work gets done. That's where the inner work gets done. Right, right. And, and even if we are lucky enough to have a family that we've been sheltering in place with, I, I know we've all heard stories of frustration. <laughs> and I always say, well, whoever you're living with, go into a room of your own at least once a day. <laughs> <laughs> go to a room and meditate room today. That is a great thing. Yes, and yeah. meditate. That's every guest we've had on says mm -hmm. uh, you've got to meditate, meditate, meditate right now. There is no way around that. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. our new food. <laughs> now, what can people do to develop their own intuition? Mm -hmm. I think this is an important thing. And, and I also, um, if you could also address another thing, you know, we're getting so much information bombarding us. And from a mental state, we try to process all of this. Yes. But also, we have our intuition. And I think that for some people, um, they're hearing information that doesn't always match with their intuition. But they're, they're doing something based on information they're getting on, from every different direction. And that's not good for the health when you're not listening to your intuition, when you're going against it. Oh, Kat, you are asking such a magnificent question because I go back to the 1st of January, 2020, and I was telling my, my, my students, and my clients and friends, that 2020 is the year of transformation and is the year of stepping into our own personal authority because these are authority planets which are crumbling down the external authority so it's imperative upon each of us to do anything we can to develop our own wisdom. And of course, if the simple question is meditation, uh, another simple answer might be putting like boundaries up around certain aspects of your life and, and, and trusting your own 
gut wisdom again. Um, I, each of the signs are being asked to step into their own authority and rebuild certain areas. And um, I would say this to anyone who um, questions, you know, back in the 60s, we were told to question authority, become your own authority. And, and, and God bless the authorities out there who have been giving us information. But let's face it, it's been a lot of contradictory information over the past few months, too. So independent, individual healing journeys are being activated in 2020, like they haven't been since 1968. Wow. And think about 1968 and 67, 69, the country was ablaze with many, many protests. Yes. We're doing the same thing now. Wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting how the astrology confirms what's going on now when you look it is repeatable you can see these cycles repeat themselves you can see i mean like as you said for thousands of years people have been using astrology as a way mm -hmm. to see mm -hmm. where things are at and where they're headed oh cassandra thank you so much you always have such beautiful wisdom to share i am so grateful to you I'm going to give you a heart hug myself, dear cat. You are doing fantastic work in the world, helping uplift us with your positivity and your, your beauty and, and your, your wisdom. So thank you. You're, you're such a sweetheart. We'll write back at you. Love you. Love you too. My niece Rosine and I love putting out our magic blanket in unique places to attract cool guests for passionate living. I guess that for us it's kind of like fishing. You won't want to miss our ride on the magic blanket with Jay Drep, whose voice is going to lift your spirits to new heights. So what are we doing in Delaware Park? I thought we had to find a guest for today's show. Well, I have this plan. Remember that movie Field of Dreams? Yes. And they said, if you build it, they will come. Yeah. Well, I put a blanket right over here, and I just have this feeling, now that I put the blanket down, that the perfect guest will appear. What do you think? I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> come on, we give it a try, right? What do we got to I lose? Mean, it's okay. like fishing. Okay. We'll just sit here and be patient. And then, you know, we'll see if somebody shows up. Okay. Can I sit here? Oh, yeah, help yourself. Oh, great. This looks lovely. How's it going? Great, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's Jay Dreth, the singer. It worked. We have a guest. Let's see if he'll be a guest on today's show. Okay. Hey, I, I recognize you, yeah? Jay yeah. Dreth, and I'm wondering if you would be a guest on our show today. I would, I would love to. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. So you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away, ask away. Wow, this is like perfect. I told Rosina, she uh -huh. doubted me. I said, if we put a blanket down, somebody will just happen to show up. And who better than this amazing, handsome, fabulously talented oh, singer so Thank yourself. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Jay, um, where are you living now? Are you in Buffalo? I'm in Buffalo currently. I've been in Buffalo about three months now. Uh -huh. um, I live in New York City. And with everything happening in the world, I, I left New York and... Uh, I've been, yeah, I've been here about three months, and uh, what a better place to be in the summertime than in Buffalo, New York. I just, I just love it here. I grew up here, and my family's here, and you're here. It's great. <laughs> it's, great. it's wonderful, and such a beautiful day today. Oh, isn't it? I love this weather in Buffalo. I too. Yeah. I, I just love your music. You have the most extraordinary voice. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. What are you working on now? Are you, do you have a new album coming out? Anytime Actually, it's, funny, it's funny you say that. I do. I, I just released an EP called Drifting, and it's a collection of songs that I put together, and I just felt like sharing them. And I think right now, music is what we all need, and, and it's the most important thing. And I, I just put it out. There's some, some beautiful music on there, a collection of musical theater songs. There's some foreign language songs, um, some original songs. And uh, I can't wait for you to hear it. Yeah. I, I can't wait to hear it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. And 
And I just wanted to ask you, like, do you have like a website, a fan page, anything where I people do. can go and you find, can find me? I do. I have a website, uh, jlewisdreff.com. I'm also on Instagram, and I'm on Twitter as well at jdreff. And I just created a fan page where you can follow me, and uh, you can you can look for updates on future concerts or future music and videos that, I, that I'll be putting out very soon. And uh, yeah, you can find you can find everything on there. Now, I'm wondering, is there a song on the album that maybe you could sing for us? Close your eyes, and I'll sing it for you right now. your beautiful face inside my head I'm walking through this life with you and every moment leads to now and as the wheels are touching down I choose love Love. Taxi in the rain, running for my life, get to the gate just to find your planes caught up in some snow, five hours delay. All I'm gonna do. We sit and wait and think about your beautiful face Inside my head, I'm walking through this life Inside my head, I'm walking through this life Inside my head, I'm walking through this life, through this life With you Thank you for joining us for some of the best of Passionate Living. If you like classic cars, you're going to want to join us next week to meet a man who started a world-class museum based on his love of antique automobiles. Then we're going to hear from a very special guest in Washington, D.C., whose commitment to young people ended up changing the lives of an entire community. And finally, Rosine and I are going to put out our magic blanket once again to attract another very special musical guest that you won't want to miss. Make sure to join us each week at these times, and if you miss a show, come to PassionateLiving.com where you can watch episodes of our program online. I want to thank everyone who is a part of creating Passionate Living, including our amazing sponsors who help to make funding for Passionate Living possible. Until our next adventure in Passionate Living, just remember that if you think you can, you can, and if you think you can't, you can't. So think you can and anything is possible.